Hey, what is up guys? Gita Rock here. Welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. Alright, today's video we're going to talk about the SSR Relic Selector. Now, if you guys are not aware, today you get to choose uh, only if you're level 61, right? So from the book quest, right? Uh, this particular book quest, I'm sure you guys are aware. I'm not sure what chapter are you guys at, but uh, chapter 13 is where you can unlock uh, another one but for this particular one you need to be level 61 so level 61 once you complete the chapter 13 you will have the ability to get this particular thing right here so this is the ssr relic one out of four box now notice right here it says that you can choose between omnium shield confinement drone or alternate destiny however there's a little bit of i'm not sure translation error or mistake right here you don't really get to choose alternate destiny, <laughs> alright? So some players have already completed it. Uh, they even post it on Reddit as you can see. <laughs> you know, there's no alternate destiny. So basically the Omnium Shield Confinement Drone, but you get to get this robot instead, right? I forgot what's the robot's name. The Type 5 Armor. So yeah, I I'm not sure like what's the approach right now. That's like the best advice I can give you guys. Do you, should you wait for them to fix this? Because it's clearly a bug, right? So hopefully, uh, I think that's the approach that I'm going to try to stick with. I personally think that maybe if you guys are trying to get Alternate Destiny, which is kind of a very cool SSR relic, it might be better to wait for a little bit. But do keep in mind, you can actually get the full Alternate Destiny relic, SSR relic, from the Outer Islands later on once the 1.5 comes, which is this particular one. You can see uh, there's two islands that will come later on in 1.5. One is the artificial islands, one is the outer islands. The outer islands will give you this uh, alternate destiny relic. So this is like kind of a more sought after relic. A lot of players really really want this relic. So why is that right? So let's uh, jump into the game. Now this relic is like a defense type relic. It's very good in PvP. Now if you get this relic, I would say PvP is going to be, uh, you're going to have a lot of an easier time. What it does is, when you cast this particular shield, and you stay inside here, your HP cannot drop below 20%. And it gives you a little bit of immortality, alright, depending on how long it lasts. So right here you can see it lasts for 8 seconds. So during that 8 seconds, if you are about to die, boom, you cast this particular thing, stay inside there, you will never, your HP will not drop below 20%. So once you leave the dimension, it removes all buffs. So notice, uh, also one thing that you have to keep in mind is once you have spent 8 seconds in the dimension, you cannot be buffed by it for 45 seconds. So this shield is like a make or break it in PvP, right? So if you are like about to lose, it can sort of make you, it can turn a losing condition to a winning one if you activate it at the right time, which is kind of cool. Uh, I've seen a lot of PvP, like for me personally, like the matches are kind of close, right? If I have this relic, I can basically pull it off and turn the win in my favor. Now, like I said, sadly, we are not able to obtain this relic right now. Uh, the choices would be within the other four. So let's talk about uh, each of these individually, all right? Each of these choices and which one should you pick out of these four, right? So notice you are going to get between the Type 5 armor, which I don't recommend. Please don't pick this. This is probably the worst choice out of the four. I think this robot is cool, he looks cool, he does a decent amount of damage if you are fighting uh, bosses and stuff, but other than that, I don't see this robot being useful at all. I do think that Colossus Arm is going to be better overall. Now let's talk about the confinement, alright, so confinement is one of the choices. So this one is kind of uh, interesting, basically uh, you lock the enemy within an area, right? So the enemy within that area will receive sort of like a DOT, damage over time for a couple of seconds. And then if they try to leave the area, uh, at, the, at the edge of the area, they will get stunned for about 2 seconds, right? Up to 3 seconds if you upgrade this to 1 star. Which is cool, uh, also something that I see being used a lot in PvP. But again, this is much more of a, since it does DOT damage over time, it doesn't really help much in a lot of uh, PvE contents. So my recommendation if you're trying to pick right now, is either going to be the shield or the drone. Now let's talk about the specifics here uh, in terms of the pros and cons, right? So the shield, the Omnium shield, is probably the best buffing in terms of damage if you can get it up to 5 stars. Alright, so if you're not aware, basically it generates a shield and it stops projectile from hitting you. Enemies can still walk through it, keep that in mind, right? However, at one star, it actually has the ability to slow the enemies uh, from this shield, which is kind of cool. I do like uh, the concept of the shield. 
But if you can be patient and slowly start to uh, get the shield, this will give you the highest damage buff if I'm not mistaken out of all the relics. At 5 stars, when Wanderers or allies pass through the Omnium shield, damage dealt is increased by 25% for 7 seconds. Now this is really really cool. If you have a 5 star relic of this one, if you are in like for example FC Heart, Frontier Clash Heart, all your allies pass through this, 25% damage boost is insane for each of you, right? So all 4 members will get a total of 100% damage boost. So by far, if you're talking about like uh, damage boost, I think this is going to be one of the highest ones. Uh, I do think that a lot of people are going to use this end game, right? Now, if you're not sure of what to basically pick, I think the Omnium Shield is going to be a pretty safe option. Now, the drone is also a very good recommendation, something that I see a lot of people talk about a lot. Now, why is the drone a good recommendation? The drone is hard to farm, all right? You can't really farm the drone reliably. And I think a lot of free-to-play players do not own the drone right yet. So the drone is more of a defense type. It summons the drone and gives you this like uh, damage reduction, which is kind of cool, I guess. And it also gives you immunity to uh, CC, right? Control effects for the next 5 seconds at 1 star. Now, if you uh, are willing to upgrade again to 5 stars, you will be able to gain some sort of lifesteal effect. As you can see, it converts 20% of damage dealt into HP. I think that's pretty cool, alright? So, but you all you will only be able to unlock it at 5 stars. So, I do think that the shield or the drone is going to be the best option for a lot of free-to-play players out there. Now, like I mentioned, let me show you guys the ruins. You can see uh, most of the ruins, they don't give you... This one gives you the hologram projector. This one gives you the arms. This one gives you the this one. Uh, you can see type 5, a robot, confinement, and shield. You don't get the drone, alright? So the drone is the only one that's like probably the hardest one to get. So uh, overall, I would say the best two options either going to be the shield because it gives you the highest damage buff if you can get the 5 stars followed by the drone which is the hardest one to get and it's hard for you to farm it reliably if you're trying to like collect everything. Of course, uh, the other two I wouldn't really recommend uh, and if you really want alternate destiny, you can hopefully uh, you know, wait for the version 1.5 to come and hopefully explore the outer islands. But for now, if you guys are still trying to wait for them to, you know, perhaps fix this particular uh, issue because they mentioned that you can get alternate destiny but there's no alternate destiny. So maybe just wait before using the selector. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think again uh, in terms of the choices. Uh, do you guys agree or disagree? As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, give this video a like. Have a nice day. Goodbye.